Thank you so much, Governor Murphy. Thank you not only for this invitation, but thank you for your leadership on voting rights. As you mentioned, New Jersey has been leading the way with automatic voter registration, with having the foresight and the humility to understand that redemption for those who come out of our prisons and jails must include a reintroduction into the full measure of citizenship. As someone who's not only fought for voting rights, but has been working hard on the census, your actions taken to address prison gerrymandering are crucial because we cannot build a stronger society if we do not include the needs of every person. And that's the fundamental premise of democracy. Not that we get everything we want, but that we deserve to have a say in the direction of our nation, in the direction of our states, and in the direction of our communities. And when democracy is undermined by laws that we have seen passed, not only in Georgia, but in Iowa, and laws that are under consideration in Arizona, in Texas, in New Hampshire, in Florida, in 43 states across this country, we are seeing an onslaught, an attack on democracy. And there was one Arizona representative who actually explained it. Essentially, he said that they don't want every vote to count. They don't believe that quantity matters, that it's about the quality of the vote. Well, my question is, how do you qualify the utility of a vote? I believe that citizenship in the United States of America is a premise that we must stand on, and it says that we have the right to be heard. We are going to lose some of the elections we want to win, and we're going to win some of the elections we never thought could be true. But we are always, always as a nation stronger when every voice is included. And that is why this work is so critical. In-person early voting says to Americans who have to work on a schedule that isn't based on an agrarian economy from the 18th century that their voices matter. It says to that mom working that third shift that if she can get some time off to go and cast her ballot, she might be able to move herself out of minimum wage into a full-time job that pays her enough to live a good life for her and her family. It says to that person who is a frontline worker who doesn't know when they're going to be on call, that if they can cast their ballot, there may be relief on the other side. In-person early voting is one more vestige of a country that believes in the democracy it espouses, but more importantly, that believes in the people that it shelters. You see, what we saw on January 5th in Georgia was the election of the first African-American and the first Jewish senator from the state of Georgia. And yet what we saw on January 6th was intended to be a repudiation of an election a repudiation of an entire system, and we did not let that domestic terrorism work then, and we should not let it work now. And I am so excited to be looking up, looking at New Jersey, knowing that New Jersey is taking us in the right direction. But my eyes will never leave Georgia, will never leave the states that still need this type of leadership and this type of support. Because anytime you have a governor willing to win elections by stealing the voices of their people, they do not deserve to hold those jobs. But it's, it's up to us, the voters of America, to stand together, whether we're in Georgia, in Texas, or in New Jersey, to say that we are one nation under God, and that we are one nation whose democracy should not depend on our geography. And so to Governor Murphy, to the state legislature, to the Secretary of State, and to all the allies who made this possible, you have my heartiest, not only congratulations, but you have my gratitude, because you are showing the way to a better democracy and a better future for us all. Thank you 